Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 16th, 2023. Welcome to Caleb is Tarot. <clears throat> I regress. <laughs> Welcome to Shredding Lavelle Tarot. Okay, Shredding Lavelle Tarot is a newer name that I came up with. I, st I do still like the name Caleb is Tarot. However, the name Caleb is um, originated for myself from my rap name for whenever um, I actually start putting out my rap music. Um, uh, now, like I said in my videos on TikTok, um, I'm a lyricist. I'm not good at putting music or beats behind the music. I'm only good at creating the lyrics. So that's going to be for someone else out there to help me. If you would like to check out my channel on TikTok, that is <clears throat> Caleb is 788. Okay. I would rather it just be Caleb is, however. <laughs> that one was already taken or some shit, so I couldn't use that one. <clears throat> Aries. And my boss, kings and queens, welcome today. I'm so glad that you're here. Just keep in mind here, Aries, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter what date it is whenever I post this video. Whenever this video comes along your energy here that's whenever it is meant for you okay aries so keep that in the back of your mind before i jump into the tarot aries i did channel a few things this morning um i got two songs one is called black dog by led zeppelin spirit guys angels god please protect my throat chakra my crown chakra my solar plexus and my root chakra Okay, so that I can get a good message for Aries. A message that Aries needs to hear today. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, Archangel Michael. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let's jump right in here, guys. <clears throat> so, I got the song Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Okay, um, and what I got from that is that um, you're thinking of someone who, like, took from you, okay? And at first, in the beginning of the song, almost all the way to like the middle, this person's just talking about how like great this person is and their energy and like how amazing they are. And then come to find out, what's he saying there? Um, I found out what, I don't know. He says, I found out what uh, like live and lose is or like, um, he says something about finding out what something means whenever somebody says this quote, okay? I can't remember exactly what it was. I should have wrote that down, but I didn't, okay? But it says, um, you're thinking about someone who took from you Okay, karma is coming back on this person is what spirit is guiding me to tell you guys. Okay, also, you're looking for someone new who doesn't lie. That's going to be specific for someone out here. Okay, also got the song Black and Yellow by Wiz Khalifa. And the main thing that I got from that, Aries, is that everything you do, you do it big. It's like you ain't no, like, put one little toe in the water and then just decide you don't want to. Your ass is fucking cannonballing into that shit. Whatever you do, you do it big. You ain't, you know, you're, you're not someone that just do things lightly is what i'm getting from this here okay also um so that was before i even went on my walk this morning all right after my walk and i got back um i was channeling during my meditation here and for someone out here the eclipse is very significant like in the top left over here in my visual cortex while i was meditating i saw like the moon and then I saw like the sun coming over it, just like the eclipse. And I didn't even get to watch the eclipse. I don't even know how it happened this time or anything like that. Um, I wasn't around <laughs> for that. I wasn't even paying attention. I, like I heard a whole lot about talking about the eclipse and all this other stuff, but I didn't like try to go watch it this year or anything. I had this like uh, experience from a few years back, like I don't even know, maybe five or six or seven years ago now. And it was just like during an eclipse. And it was just a really bad time for me uh, at that time. I was also an alcoholic at that point in my life as well. And so like eclipses are something that I don't usually pay a lot of attention to because of thinking about that memory. It just brings that back and it's like an old wound. So I'll try to, just try not to think about that. <clears throat> you also, I'm getting, you have a clown in your energy or you like clowns, something like this. Okay. Because I kept seeing a clown pop up in my um, meditation, a clown. I'm also getting, um, someone out here is into robots or robotics or Robocop, maybe you like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that, or someone out here is a mechanic. Also, something about a fence or fencing, like the fencing, like, I think, what, uh, work, sword fighting or like a fence that's like, maybe your, your boundaries or like you have a fence or you're putting up a fence or something like that here at Aries is what I'm getting, okay? This coffee that I drink has got me so 
freaking jittery, bro. Like, I need to ground myself a little bit. Give me a second here, guys. All right, sorry about that, Aries. <clears throat> there we go. So that's all I got before the tarot. Let's go ahead and jump right into the tarot here and see what spirit wants to sage for you guys today. I am gonna do a past, present, future reading. Um, I am thinking about in the future here, Aries, uh, starting to do a different type of spread. However, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna stick with what I know right now. Um, I did just uh, introduce Big Bubba Mac this past Sunday, which was actually just yesterday, okay? But I did just introduce Big Bubba Mac to my tarot reads, so I will be drawing some cards here. Um, guilt popped out, and so did excitement. So someone um, is feeling guilty in your energy here, and someone, you or someone is feeling guilty, and you or someone else is feeling excited here about something, okay? So that's going to be significant for someone. Like I said, I'm going to do a big Bubba Mac at the end. I don't want to leave guilt on top there. I'm going to put excitement on top because that just looks better. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into your reading here, Aries. See what spirit needs to say to you guys today. One, two, three, four. Wow. King of Swords popped out and popped out in the reversal. Okay, I want to go ahead and look up the King of Swords. For those of you all that don't know, I do use a book by Dusty White. It is called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this book as a quick reference guide. I'm probably going to keep using this until I'm so comfortable with the cards that I can say what it is and then still look it up and read it anyways. But I'm getting close to that point anyways. At the same time, I like to be on point with my reads. So this is um, the reason that I do this here. It says, A patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal, mastermind, or ringleader, iron-fisted tyrant, dictator. Someone out here that is an air sign is feeling really anxious, okay? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, because I still, after I grounded myself, feel jittery, and it's like I wasn't feeling this way before I started this read, okay? But as soon as I started, I just feel like, blah, 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 like anxious and like jittery and like, like I feel like I need to get up and run six miles, okay? Uh, the number six could be significant for someone out here. Maybe the 6th is important, so watch out for November 6th, okay? Um, Jesus, give me a second here. Feel a little bit better. Wow, I could, that just keeps coming back. So someone out here that's the air sign is feeling really anxious right now. Um, it could be in your energy here, Aries, or it could be someone watching this video if you're a cross watcher, you're feeling really anxious for some reason or about something. Um, uh, so patient man with a cruel calculating mind. So someone out here is trying to plan something against you or they have been planning something against you here, Aries, a criminal mastermind or a ringleader, iron fisted tyrant or a dictator here. Okay, that's specific for someone here, Aries. Let's go ahead and get into the reading here, Aries. Like I said, let me get one of these because they want me to do one of these right now. Not sure why, but we're going to do it. Okay. Someone out here is also being guided to follow your intuition whenever it comes to something here. Okay. Someone out here, Aries, is being guided to let go of someone, something, someplace. Um, you have a Three of Pentacles, um, which is usually third party situation you could be dealing with someone in your energy that is talking to someone else or trying to move on to someone else from you or something here or vice versa um that's what i'm getting wow let's not let's just put those back in there let's look up three of pentacles really quick i'm not, like i'm on the verge of just not drinking coffee anymore like I, I feel really really close to like in the morning before i take my walk i'll drink coffee usually to warm up but at the same time, I have to stop to pee like three or four times every single morning <laughs> because I don't even drink a lot of coffee. It just makes me pee so much, okay? Um, so yeah, Three of Pentacles. So someone out here is really good at the occupation that they have, okay? They're like a master at this, um, whatever their occupation or their craft is. Uh, great skill and achievement compared to the Eight of Coins. Apprentice, this may indicate the master himself for their masterpiece work. Um, could have created something that's a masterpiece. Um, artistic criticism or critique of one work and employee evaluation, quality assessment, or, or even a promotion or a raise. Okay, so someone could be talking about the work that you do out here um, in a good way is what I'm getting. So 
So you could be getting some kind of assistance as well. So the three of pentacles popped out in the upright. Okay. So threes usually like, it usually indicates some type of third party, but actually what I'm getting here for you, Aries, is that you are starting to work with other people or you are going to be getting someone coming in wanting to work with you in some type of way because it did come out in the upright. Um, yeah, so in the reversal, it's usually someone talking like really crappy about the work that you do or work that you have or something like that. Or someone here in your energy... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Could be talking about your work ethic and what you do. And they could be talking about it in a good way. This could be an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn doesn't have to be. Okay, you could have you could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart. Okay? You want me to do another one? Okay. I'm going to figure out how to do that, like, thing one of these days. I just can't wait. I'm just still not there yet. And I haven't even looked up any videos on how to do it, so... <laughs> Um, guys, if you haven't yet, if you like what I'm saying so far, if this is resonating with you, hit that like button down at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment down in the comment section. I've been happy, so happy about the comments that I am getting, okay? I'm so happy about the uh, comments that I have been getting. I do re respond to all of my comments. Um, sometimes it's not right away, but it will be within a day, a day or two. Someone number do my number, you assuming I'm a human, what I gotta do? All right, that's all. All right, so... Guys, also, please check out the description box below. Um, I am going to leave down there in the description box which signs that I will be doing on which days. Today, after this Aries reading, I will be doing Pisces and Taurus. So if you have Pisces or Taurus in your chart, you might want to check those videos out. They should resonate with someone out here, okay? Also, thank you for the donations that I have received. Thank you for the people asking for personal readings, reaching out to me. Um, again, my email is down in the bottom if you would like to reach out for a personal, um, go ahead and do that. What am I forgetting here? If you would like to follow my sobriety journey on TikTok, you can look up my TikTok. That is also going to be in the description box or my rap channel. I only have like one or two videos on there right now, but I just started that like a week or so ago. So I'm trying to put my lyrics out there that I have created. Um, I am the owner of those lyrics, okay? So if anybody tries to steal that shit, or if you even try to change it around a little bit, I'm on no, okay? <laughs> Don't really matter to me, honestly. I'm uh, really good at coming up with lyrics. I've been coming up with lyrics since I was like 17 or 18 years old. So that's like 10 or 11 years now. So it's not something that I'm really too worried about. You know, Eminem, Marshall Mathers, if you would like to come in and take those lyrics and put it in a song, please do it, bro. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some Eminem, bro. Okay, maybe you guys like Eminem's or you like Slim Shady or Eminem, something like that. All right. If y'all like Eminem, y'all are definitely going to like Caleb Is. So you might want to check that guy out. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get right in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> y'all know I got to play a little bit, yo. All right, one, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Shredding LaBelle Tarot. For those of y'all that don't know, I did get Shredding LaBelle from the group Pierce the Bell. I was like, you know what? I want to pierce that bell. And then I was thinking, you know, I want to shred that shit. I want to be able to make it so obvious to people that this is what it is. Or like, this is something that you can use in your life that's very beneficial. I just want to shred that whole veil down. Now, that is not any type of stab at the high priestess, okay? I don't want to get my shit rocked, okay? <laughs> but what I mean by that is I want you guys to be able to see, okay? I want you guys to be able to to see what I'm talking about here. Okay, they want me to do this again. Shall we don't do it again? Spirit, show me a past, present, future read for the Aries today. One, two, three, four. That's it right there, baby. Show me a past, present, future read for the Aries today. Boom, we have the 10 of wands in the, no, in the upright here for the past, okay. 10 of wands, be careful what you wish for, Aries. Be careful what you ask for, because you gonna get it. Okay, this is saying specifically here in the past, in the past here, Aries, it is saying, um, be specific with what you are asking for because you are going to get it. Okay, and whenever you do get it, you may not be aware of the burdens that you are going to have to carry after you get this. Okay, so this is something that they have been showing me um, a couple of different times over the past like week or so in the reading. So Again, Aries, be wary what you're asking for. This is showing up as a past card, so it seems like you've already went through this, but at the same time, you are going to get it if you haven't gotten it yet. 
okay? I'll go ahead and look up the Ten of Wands really quick for you guys, just so you know that I'm on point. Be careful what you wish for. This powerful card reminds us, as does the Ten of Swords, that at the end of the day, all we have said and done catches up with us. The luxuries we crave, what they're talking about with me for this right here is whenever I was an alcoholic in the past and then a lot of stupid fucked up shit to a lot of people all that shit's going to come back down on me as soon as i start getting more and more popular i understand that that's something that i'm going to have to face as i keep moving forward but the only way to get through that is to keep pushing forward okay whenever you punch people's windows in whenever you fucking drunk as shit people don't forget that whenever you get in fight with people whenever you drunk as shit people don't forget that okay that is for someone out here the luxuries we crave are our burdens in turn. This man has lots of sticks, but he has to carry them to his destination or lose them. Success has a price, and you may have to bear it once you get everything you desire. Fame, power, and wealth are seldom what we thought they would be when we first started along our path. Know exactly what you want before you invest a lifetime pursuing it so that when you get it, you are still happy to carry the load. This car shows heavy labor or emotional burdens one chooses or is forced to carry for a time. Okay, let's get some clarification cards for this tin of wands in the back what is it spirit that aries need to watch out for what is it that they need to be careful what they wish for here give me three cards to explain this ten of wands in the past for aries let me get one more four one two three four boom 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 okay we have the uh six of swords we have the eight of cups and we have the seven of cups okay so six of swords is something about um it's like moving on to something or damn it now every time i think it's moving on to something i mean you can see on one side of the card here and it is in the upright um for myself here you can see on one side of the boat here down at the bottom the waters are choppy and on the other side is like smooth sailing okay so you're trying to move on from something that's like choppy or choppy waters or something that's just like a little hard to stay with something continues to rock the boat and you're trying to get out of this energy and move on to something else okay let's look what the six of swords is for you here aries to see exactly what it says because i know i get this one mixed up every single time journey by water move or vacation um this still often a point to an escape or separation so you're trying to get out of something here or you have been trying to get or this is the past so something that you've been working towards getting out of and it may have happened for you already okay relocation from a poor economy or other harsh environments to safer locales so you guys could have moved here recently or you're going on or went on some kind of vacation this card is similar to the eight of cups which is really crazy because you have the eight of cups right beside it okay except that aside from a journey over water versus land this image <clears throat> implies leaving in something of a hurry and things left behind in the eight of cups the man has set his affairs in order before skipping town here the woman did not even have time to pack the symbolism of the mother and the child all alone also suggests leaving without a spouse so you guys probably moved on or left or had to leave in a hurry here from someone based on a relationship that you had that probably didn't work out is what i'm getting here okay it doesn't have to be could be like a family dynamic or a job but what i'm getting is a relationship okay <clears throat> let me read this next part here and see if it if i get anything from this oh yeah so you guys um this is some kind of divine intervention that came in here for you guys it's like um Archangel Michael possibly is what I'm getting came in stepped in decided he was like you know what um, I'm pushing you away from this experience turbulence this thing that you are already aware of that you just keep staying in it's like you're stuck in like a lifeboat out here in the ocean okay you're like stuck in a lifeboat in the ocean the waters are just like continuously doing this to your ass and you're just like all right I'm holding on like you're riding a bull okay <laughs> maybe someone out here like bull riding I don't know something like that um so Archangel Michael was like yo there's an island right there you just we're gonna put you on the island okay just all right so archangel michael came and just pushed your ass over to the island and you're sitting there like oh wow this is what it's like to be on land so you could be dealing with a water sign here aries don't have to be but you have two cups cards and this is sword so swords is air so gemini libra aquarius or pisces cancer or scorpio okay the water and the uh air sign card is what made me think of a water sign so it could very well be doesn't have to be okay Moving on from toward common words, motivation speaking, moving away from, whereas the other half of the law, most commonly attraction or seduction is moving towards. So you guys are moving away from something so that you can move towards something better here, okay? Let's go ahead and look at the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is leaving behind something that you have put a lot of energy, effort, and work into, okay? 
could be a relationship, job, family dynamic, or living situation. Farm, farm, farm. You could be moving away from a farm if you are someone like that, or you did move away from a farm here since it's in the past. Let's go ahead and look at the Eight of Cups to see exactly what it is. And then you have the Seven of Cups and the Reversal right beside it, okay? So again, Cups is Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio you could be dealing with. Don't have to be, okay? But um, taking my ball and going home, sometimes it seems like anything has got to be better than what you have now, and you just get the urge to go find out. You may, from all outward appearances, have everything you want in life, but inside you feel the need to get away from everything and scrub your soul clean. This is different from the Four of Cups, as it is the need for something different and taking action on it versus shutting everyone out. This card indicates life changes, a move across state, country, or even continent, a relocation for a new job, a career, but changes you make from a deep desire to get away from where you are now. Much clarity can be found by looking at a specking card. So it seems like this move that you had to do, whatever it was, away, or this job loss, or this tower moment that you went through, whatever here, whatever you went through in order to make you move that was caused by divine intervention, um, it's also something that you really needed, and it's like, maybe you at the time, like, maybe you didn't necessarily want it to happen, but as soon as it did happen, you were like, yeah, okay, like, uh, I'm moving on to something better, like, as soon as you had the, the it's not one, it wasn't even really an option for you, is what I'm getting here, Aries, but as soon as you had this moment happen where you had to move as soon as you did you were like okay i'll move and you moved on to something better you were like all right i don't care what it is anything better than gotta be better than this shit i was holding on to them choppy waters in that little lifeboat for hours bro days weeks i was sitting out there like bro what the fuck what is this i'm in a little tiny lifeboat in the middle of the ocean son <laughs> I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, what you know about going down in the deep? I'm getting that song right now. So someone out there maybe likes that. Who is that? Fucking... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is that Logic? I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Logic is a fast rapper. That's probably not him. I don't know. Anyways. <clears throat> So yeah, as soon as you guys realized what this was, as soon as you were like trying to hold on to this situation, uh, some type of tower moment came in or divine intervention came in and it was like, no, you gotta let this go. And then you were like, okay, thank God. <laughs> I'll let go of the lifeboat and live on the island happily. That sounds great. This lifeboat was kicking my ass, son. <laughs> so anyways, I wanna throw that out there. Let's go ahead and look at the Seven of Cups reversed, okay? Uh, Seven of Cups is, is the juice worth the squeeze, okay? You're looking at these options that you have. You're looking at what you're doing in life and you're looking at, is like this something okay i feel like i have a hair on my freaking nose here because my nose keeps itching what does it know what does it mean when your nose itches look up what it means when your nose itches and write it in the comments for me okay uh some of you guys could be getting a little sick it is like cold today so be be careful watch your health here aries is what i'm getting be careful here all right because this morning i went for a walk and my hands are still cold bro like this is as fast as i can do it fast as i can do it right now anyway so um, look at look up what it means whenever your nose itches or or your nose is like, um, what's it? Not itches, but like uh, ticklish. Whatever your nose is ticklish. God damn. Anyways, okay. So seven of cups reversed. Now now in the upright it means is the juice worth the squeeze? Is this effort and work and stuff that I'm putting in here? something that I need to do. It says reverse this card most often indicates indecision or worse being paralyzed by the inability to choose. It can also indicate lack of focus or not knowing what one wants and occasionally it will indicate being forced into a decision against one's will. Expecting cards will clear, expecting cards will, expecting, expecting cards will clearly illustrate what is happening. Excuse me. Okay, so some of you guys here in the past is showing me here that primarily you were like, you don't know what to do about a situation, okay? It's like, you're like paralyzed by the inability to choose what it is that you need to do or what you wanna do, okay? You're just sitting here, you have this option and you have that option. It seems like you only have these two options mainly and you're like, I don't fucking know. I don't know what to do. And and basically what is get, what I'm getting from this is that you're walking away from the situation and in the past it was, you're walking away from a situation, you have already put a lot of time, energy and effort into this situation, which is most likely why you're having such a hard time choosing. It's like, God dang, but I've already spent so much time on it. Like, imagine you spend like 87 hours drawing a hand-drawn, really amazing masterpiece of an artwork picture here. And then like afterwards, someone's like, all right, start on this one over here, this new thing. And you're like, no, I'm not done with it, bro. I've already spent 87 hours and it's not done yet. Okay, you're upset about this or the other person is. Take it as it resonates. Okay, something about this going on here. Um, yeah, it's like you're, you're being forced to choose against your will. Basically, it's like you don't even want to because you're paralyzed by fear. 
I mean, I wouldn't say necessarily fear, but you're paralyzed by the fact that you have to choose and you know that you have to. So you're sitting here like, God dang it. Are you sure, Lord? Are you sure? <laughs> and they're saying yes. Yes, I am sure. You have to choose. Go ahead and do it. Then, and, that, and also what I'm getting is they're saying if you don't choose, then we're going to choose for you. Okay, because they are looking out for your best interest here. So uh, keep that in the back of your mind here, Aries. Everything that does happen happens for a reason. Okay, it's not because they want you uh, to be upset or sad, even though you are probably going to go through these emotions is what I'm getting here. But they know that you deserve something better. So that's why it's happening. Okay, let's look at the judgment reversed in the present. Okay, someone around you has got judgment or is getting judgment, something like that reversed or they haven't got judgment yet or they're trying to dodge getting judgment okay and so there i was at the party trapped in the corner by this really creepy old guy who just kept going on and on about how he owned this company and that how much money and power he had and that's what it says at the beginning okay <laughs> back in days when music was recorded on the vinyl the circular disc had a long spiral that the record player needle sat in and responded to all of the little bumps in turn translating that into sound but sometimes the record was scratched and the needle would jump the groove and play the same section over and over and over the effect was very annoying this is just like that you go around and around and look for a way out of this mess but you can't seem to find one perhaps it is time for a clean break even if you have to make sacrifices to get off this ride so in the present here aries okay it is clearly stating that you're basically trying to hold on to something or someone or a job or something and you are in a cycle this is a cycle okay this is a cycle that they are that spirit is guiding you to break they're saying hey we actually just put this person place or thing in your energy to see if you are ready to move on and it's like you were already at the point where you were ready to okay it seems like this person place or thing came back into your energy to try and hold you back a little bit or or God was just testing you here God is like hey you know, we should test Aries really quick. Let's send a little test his way to see if they're ready uh, for bigger and better things. And it's like the person, place, or thing came back into your energy. Um, now, keep in mind that this could be like a substance, a uh, substance abuse, like uh, alcohol or drug or you smoke weed or something. Okay, this could be something like that. Um, that you're like, ooh, and you went back to it maybe. And you're like, now that you're back to it, you know, maybe you've been trying to quit like for myself, alcohol, I've been trying to quit alcohol for like four years now. I finally am on the up and up with it. I don't really, I don't, every time I think about alcohol, I think about whenever I empty one of those big trash cans full of empty beer bottles and shit at the end of the night at work, whenever I'm bartending, right? And then just that smell comes and smacks you in the face of stale, old, nasty beer. And it's just like, makes you, it just makes you like, okay, uh, get out of that, get out of that. <laughs> it makes you like, just not ever want anything like that ever again so yeah that is something that i will never go back to i will never go back to alcohol mark my words okay <laughs> guarantee you that one anyways so this is something that came back into your energy because you're being tested here or uh the lord wanted to test you and see if you are see if you're strong-willed and see if you're willing to put your faith into him or not um they're saying basically you're gonna have to let this go it doesn't i mean you're stuck in a cycle here. If you keep staying with it, you're going to continue to be stuck in a cycle. You're going to have to let this go, Aries, whatever it is. Okay. Let's get three clarifying cards for the judgment in reverse. Boom, the moon. So this is something that like, maybe you, this is reversed. You are the person or, or you or the other person or the other thing or whatever it is, is like coming out to the light. This is something that is being shown. This is like something that maybe you are talking about or they are talking about to the people that they know. Maybe at first in the past, they wanted to keep this under the moon. It's just like, no, this is going to be brought to the light. Okay, whatever this is. Um, let's go ahead and look at the judge. I mean, the moon reversed. Jump up by the bell like I'm possessed. I go out on tour and I say I'm drinking less. End up getting loose and getting pictures from my ex. So you could be dealing with an ex here or something like this, Aries. Or maybe you're thinking about your ex or maybe your ex is thinking about you. Okay. Deception revealed, light is shined on the denizens of the darkness. Boom, boom, boy, I'll make this shit up. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> All right, it's not so much time of truth as much as it is an end of a time of deception and trouble. Someone very bad for you leaves your life. You leave a crappy job. This could also indicate kicking bad habits 
Boom, man, my intuition is on point, son. This is Caleb motherfucking Morgan McDowell for you. At your service. Thank you. <laughs> uh, someone very bad for you leaves your life. You leave a crappy job. This can also indicate kicking bad habits, ending or strongly minimizing and thus controlling harmful addictions. Yes, Aries, you are on it, son. You are doing it, son. Keep it up, bro. I love that. All right. These above all assume a negative moon card association. If you stand, if your standard moon card association is a positive one, then reverse this card would be an ending or a removal of a separation from something positive in your life. Most likely a gentle nurturing source of security, romance, love, and quiet support. All right. Uh, it's not what I'm getting. Whatever you're leaving behind here, like I said, divine intervention is coming in for you to leave it. So it's gotta be something that's not good for you, or at least it's not good for you right now. Maybe it'll be good for you in the future or something like that, but it's not good for you right now. That's why you're having to leave it. You need some kind of space from this or there needs to be some kind of clean break in order for you or whatever. If you want that in the future, you can come back to that. But right now is not the time is what I'm getting. Okay, one, two, three, four. Two more cards. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Pentacles, baby. Uh, they're both in the reversal, so it's going to be something with your money here, Aries, <clears throat> or someone else's money. Your money or someone else's money in your energy, okay? So pay attention to this. This is something you're going to want to pay attention to. Again, if you like this so far, hit that like button down at the bottom. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section, okay? <clears throat> Complete lack of self-control, weakness, inability to stand up for oneself, foolishness with money and resources. Now, this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could have Earth in your chart, or the person you're dealing with could have Earth in their chart, or they're an Earth sign. Okay, a couple of different things here. I'm trying to, like, get this video, like, not super long, so I'm trying to... If I'm talking really fast here, that's why, Aries, okay? So, definitely, someone out here doesn't have any self-control. They just go out here and do whatever the fuck that is they're guided to do. And in fact, they could have some type of like negative energy attachment to them. That's why they're like this. Okay, so pay attention to that. Okay, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ew. I got a weird thing with paper and like especially toilet paper sometimes. If it's too soft, like it just it freaks me out. I got like a weird thing with it. Okay. Selfish woman, impatient and demanding, entitled, and, no, elitist scornful all right so this person is entitled to as well they think they're entitled to your time energy they think that they they think that you're theirs or something like that okay scornful of others especially those she considers inferiors same shamelessly materialistic evil boss gold digger alternate al alternately as an effect or event a loss of social or financial status falling from grace Feminine health issues, see a doctor now. So if you're a female watching this, you might want to go see a doctor now. As, and like I said, Aries, this, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone in your energy. So be careful. Abandonment by husband, loss of stability, having your world turned upside down. So someone out here, Aries, you could be, now, like I said, queens represent women, but they don't have to be women. It could be a male in your energy here. Okay, so keep that in the back of your mind. But this person, and it also is an earth sign, or could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, doesn't have to be, okay? So someone's world's getting turned upside down. Now, it could be someone that you were dealing with that you were, like, kind of leaving behind here, or you're kind of moving on from, okay? And the reason that you're moving on is because you're being guided to. Like, God is like, hey, you might want to move on from this situation, because if not, divine intervention is coming in. You're a love child. You're a spirit baby. Okay, you're out here doing work for the Lord okay and this person is in your energy and they're like yeah me too but it's like they're not okay and then it's like god is like telling you like yo you can either let go of it because you're meant for great things or we just gonna come in and just end this for you either way so this is like my message to you here aries you might want to be wary of whatever this energy is could have earth in their chart or they could be an earth sign or you do okay take it as it resonates <clears throat> we also have the ten of pentacles you have definitely got an earth sign in your energy here somewhere taurus virgo or capricorn it could be you it could be them but there's an earth sign somewhere okay and the ten of pentacles in the future is reversed so we're gonna have to be wary of this it says loss of economic stability the fall of a great house of power infighting among insiders in a family or business that threatens to tear an empire apart living so far beyond one's means to keep up appearances that one's foundation is shaky okay again it could be the earth sign that you were dealing with here, here Aries, is what I'm getting. Now, 
like I said, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but they most likely have earth in their chart. Okay. One thing that really is kind of like a hard thing to describe to people is like, everybody's like, yeah, I'm an Aries whenever their sun sign is an Aries. It's like, yes, your sun sign is in Aries, but that's not, a, that's not who you are. It just kind of, it's really annoying when everybody goes just based on their sun sign. Okay. It's just like you, you are a person that is put together through <laughs> like, and you can acknowledge different parts of yourself and how you act and why you act, how you act and the reason that you do things that you do based on the other signs that you have in your chart. So I would strongly recommend you going and looking up your chart, look up your natal chart. Okay. You can find that on cafeastrology.com. All right. As long as you know where you were born and what time you were born, you can see an accurate reading of your chart. Those two are very important though. Okay. <laughs> very, very important. So if you don't know how to find those, you can look on your birth certificate. If you don't know how to find your birth certificate, you can go to, I don't know, DSS or fucking part. I don't know. You can go somewhere and find it. There's one of these little places out here that is like a birth certificate place that you just go and find and you just, if you don't have yours, you just order a new one. They send it to you in like a few weeks or something and you just look on it then. If you can wait a few weeks, you'll be all right. Okay. So yeah, someone out here is, they're losing their economic stability. Now it could be you Aries, so be wary. Like I said, pay attention. Okay. Um, the fall of a great house of power, infighting among insiders in a family or business that threaten to tear an empire apart, living so far beyond one's means to keep up appearances that one's foundation is shaky. Like I said, Aries, I don't think that this is you, but it could very well be, so be wary. Be wary, Aries. Be wary, Aries. Oh, shit. I think I just came up with some new lyrics. <clears throat> One, two, three. Wow. Okay, Temperance came out, and so did the Four of Cups. So, someone out here is, um, now it could be a water sign. All right, I'm going to take it as it is. Boom, like that. Okay, the Four of Cups is going to be in the upright and the Temperance is going to be reversed. Okay, so the Four of Cups first, let me go ahead and look at that. Let me get one more card first. Let me get one more card for clarification of the Ten of, yeah, Ten of Pentacles for Aries in the future. Ten of Pentacles reverse for Aries in the future. One, two, three. That's like ten cards. Let me just get one card here. Spirit, please, for Aries in the future. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. These haters in my body shake them off. <laughs> All right. Maybe some of you guys like, what's her name? Young M.A. or Young Ma or something like that. Maybe you guys like her, like her, or maybe you guys got haters and you're just like, ooh, these haters on my body shit come up. Anyway, so we got the four cups in the upright. Um, discontent, someone's um, upset, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Immovable object, malcontent, it's hard to be this disappointed with life, but some people find ways to become so. This card represents resistance to any help, advice, compassion, charity, or compromise. This is more than unhappiness. This is a solid wall one builds up around themselves and shuts the world out. It is absolute refusal to listen to, interact with, or even recognize the efforts of others. The subtext of this card is that everything has been offered to the person this card represents. Therefore, this card is supremely dependent on associated cards for casualty. One cannot reach this state of withdrawal without reason or circumstance. Look closely for these reasons before offering up solutions. Temperance Reverse is going to give us some idea why this person like this is like this. Temperance is something about being tempered. Um, so this person is just acting out. They're like, um, tempering your emotions. This person's uh, very emotional and acting on it. Their, their emotions are probably fleeting and they go where their emotions go. This is not someone that you want in your energy. Okay. Imbalance, bad planning, poor execution, lack of wisdom, rushing, anything too much of this, not enough of that too much at once. Selfishness, selfishness, prima donna, lack of understanding. So yeah, you guys, male or female are dealing with a prima donna out here. Okay. They out here, like they try they basically came in and they thought that they was going to do something with you and your energy. They thought that they were going to be able to control something in your energy. And they thought that, that it was going to be like something good was going to happen for them, for them rushing into your energy. And so this person doesn't even understand what's going on right now. They don't understand why it's going on. It's because their intentions weren't pure when they came in. They had some kind of hidden agenda whenever they came in and they were trying to tell you to your face. They were like, no, I have no hidden agenda. This is what it is. I just love you so much. I'm so happy. This job was like, you're just such a hard worker and we just need you so bad here. This family dynamic was like, you just bring so much to our table. But at the back of these, these people's mind, whoever it is or whatever it is, um, this living situation, it was like, we need you here in this living situation because you just 
are so amazing to be around. No, these people have some kind of hidden agenda. Okay, <clears throat> they're selfish. They wanted something of yours or something like this. They wanted um, the uh, attention that you get or something. Um, they tried to plan something here in order to orchestrate this for this to work out. It was a bad plan, poor execution, lack of wisdom. So this person doesn't even like have wisdom behind what they're trying to do here. They're not like, okay, what I'm, what I'm getting is, is you, ten, you are 10 steps ahead of this person. And they thinking over here that they're 10 steps ahead of you. And you're just sitting over there looking at them and laughing. I'm like, ha, that's funny, okay? And this person's a selfish person, okay? That's what I'm getting from this. Yeah, okay, so that's all I'm getting from that. That's all, I'm going to leave that right there. Let's go ahead and look up this Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is in the reversal, okay? Now, um, also reverse, I mean, Wands means fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. However, it says stagnation or missed opportunities, not being able or ready to take action when fortune calls, canceled plans or vacations, inconsistency in action, reckless action taken without adequate forethought, alternatively scattered and wasted energies if paired with any sword card, but especially the seven of swords. Okay, this could indicate an ambush or even a call to retreat. So, you guys here, um, I'm, I'm getting that this isn't, a, it, excuse me, I'm getting that this isn't you here, Aries. Um, but I am getting that whoever this person that you are dealing with here that is like this uh, could be a water sign or another fire sign. Doesn't have to be, okay? But this person is like, they're like canceling shit. All right, once they figure out that you're pulling your energy back and they start to realize what is happening here, this person is, um, <clears throat> they're thinking that they have a missed opportunity. Their life is being stagnant now. Um, so whenever fortune calls to them, whenever they're like in this after they pull their or after you pull your energy back and this person sees what's going on it just does something to this person and it's like whenever fortune calls like some kind of opportunity may come in for this person because like i said divine intervention is the reason that this is happening it's not because you just don't like the person or the thing it's not because you just don't like the job or the living situation it's not because you just don't like where you live it's just because that whatever this is is not for you okay and this is like the spirit coming in to say hey we have to step in and do this. And the reason that we have to step in and do this is because this isn't meant for you. It's not because we want to hurt your feelings. It's not because we want to be, we want you to see you sad or anything like that. But um, this is just not meant for you, especially not at this time. So, excuse me, even if it's meant for you later on, it's not at this time. So you have to follow what you're being guided to do. Okay, is what I'm saying, is what I'm getting here, Aries, is what you need. To, this is going to be significant for someone out here, okay? Um... Reckless action taken without adequate forethought. So this person's going to be doing something reckless. Okay. And they ain't even thought about it. They're just going to be doing something crazy. Alternatively scattered and wasted energies. If paired. Oh uh, yeah. So you do have the six of swords in the past here, but that's not what I'm getting. So this person may or may not be scattering and wasting their energy. Hopefully not. Um, and indicate an ambush or even a call to retreat. So this person thinks that they're feeling like they're feeling like you came in and you hurt them or you were feeling like this person came in and hurt you. Take it as it resonates. OK, and you're feeling the need to retreat or they are. OK, they're like, oh, my God, I need to retreat. I've been ambushed. No, you just didn't pay attention. All right. You need to match your words with your actions, this person or this place or this thing. OK, there is at the end of the tarot portion of your read. Let's get some Big Bubba Mac advice really quick. Big Bubba Mac. What we got for Aries today? Give me three cards to clarify this past, present, future read for the Aries today. And then we'll get into the message from the Ancestor Oracle card and see what your ancestors want to say to you. All right. Boom. Shaka Laka Taurus. One, two, three, four. What we got? Um, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone has Aquarius in their chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces or someone has Pisces in their chart. Like, chart like i said um this is a water sign but aquarius is air pisces is water okay you could be dealing with these two signs here and get one more card um could be someone that you're married to or had plans to marry um something about your crown chakra is important you need to protect your crown chakra you could be getting a call or you're calling this person here okay and also let me just get one more card. I mean, those popped out. Let me just get one more. So someone that you are married to or plan to marry, something like that. Baby, listen. So if you're a girl and you are listening to this, listen to this because this message is for you, okay? Listen, baby. Baby, listen, okay? <laughs> one, two, two, three, four. All right. 
One, two, three, four. Let me get one more, and then we're done with that part. Breath work. Yes, someone out here needs to do some breath work, baby. For example, if you look at the beginning of this video, whenever I started, what was I doing? Grounding myself, holding my hand over the fire, getting close to the fire because that's how I ground myself, and also breathe in for three, breathe out for six. Or for as long as you need to. I usually breathe in for three and breathe out for like 10, like eight or 10. That was 20. See what I'm saying? The more control you have over your breath, the more control you have over how you feel because you have more control over your emotions. Do some breath work or meditation. I would most definitely recommend that to everyone watching this. Every single person watching this, do some meditation, do some breath work. You will not regret it, okay? I promise you, I'm the most fucking ADD or ADHD person in the world that I know and I still do this. And the reason that I do it, at first I was like, Okay, that was great. Amazing. Awesome meditation. I like barely do even a breath in, bro. And I'm just like ready to move on to the next thing because I got so much in my mind all the time. However, spirit guides me and said, Caleb, yo, maybe you should just keep on trying this. Maybe you should keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like you're feeling something. You're getting somewhere. And then every time I pull myself away from meditation, every time I try to do some al other ulterior thing that's not meditation, it doesn't work for me. And I go back to meditation every time and I start getting control of my emotions again. I would most definitely recommend this for every single person watching this video. <laughs> okay. Let's see what your ancestors want to say to you today. So let me get a little bit of a shuffle right here. Get ready for the next sign. I'm about to do Pisces after this one. So if you have Pisces in your chart, get ready for that one. Okay. Boom. Chaka like a Taurus. <clears throat> Boom. Chaka like a Taurus. <laughs> Maybe you guys like the movie The Rundown. It's a kind of an older movie, but also maybe like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, or the other two guys that play in that movie. The guy who says that, I can't remember his name, but yeah, I love those guys. Oh my God, <laughs> they're so fucking funny. All right, let me get one of these. They want me to do that. Ooh, just about, had, just about had one fly out. Let me get four, one, two, three, four. Let me get four one more time. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to be this one. All right. We have warrior boundaries, okay? Aries, you are setting your boundaries because you are a warrior fighting in this spiritual battle here, whether you realize it or not. Getting them boundaries up, putting them where they need to be, showing people what you are and are not willing to deal with. Love it. Okay, let me see. Boundaries. Warrior. So warrior is the word we're looking up. Because of the boundaries that you are putting up, you are being seen as a warrior. Because you are one, baby. All right, what we got? What we got? Is that it? Was that it right there? Nope. Here we go. This is what the card means, and then we're going to get into what your ancestors are trying to say to you through me drawing this card. <clears throat> Most people see this card and think of a soldier, but a true warrior is so much more. A true warrior's sacred obligation is to serve the ruler, the king or queen, particularly a ruler that is connected to a higher authority and rules with equanimity. This service to the ruler requires the warrior to be ready at all times, to be on alert and fully present in the ever-changing moment. Their job is to protect their leader as well as home, family, and land, and to set limits and defend boundaries. Throughout human history, there are many examples of how the true warrior's mission has been perverted and compromised to the point they may have become a killer or a mercenary with a distorted perspective on who or what is being served. The true warrior does not act out of anger, but out of compassionate service to those being served and a respect for the values necessary to carry out this service. One of their main duties is to establish boundaries that serve to protect and defend. If necessary, they will sacrifice their life for those that they serve. Okay. This is what your ancestors want you to hear today through me drawing this card. It says, This ancestor comes to you with the message that your boundaries are too permeable. You have too many things demanding your attention, causing you to lose yourself and compromise your own internal authority. You too easily agree to sacrificing your own needs and values and end up feeling victimized, stressed, overwhelmed, and resentful. Wow, I was just saying this to someone last night. Stressed, overwhelmed, and resentful, blaming other people or yourself for the consequences in order to truly cherish and honor yourself, you must listen to your inner warrior. Practice saying a clear no so that when you say yes, it is without doubt or, or equivocation. Practice taking a few moments to decide as you breathe slowly and deeply instead of reflexively agreeing to a request to avoid any anticipated disapproval or chastisement. 
To build your relationship with this powerful ancestral warrior, you must be willing to take some risk and allow others to have their judgments about you without caving in to your fear or their manipulations. <clears throat> You are at a point in your life where it is absolutely necessary to stand up for yourself whenever called for. Turn to this ancestor for support when needed. Yes, Aries, you are being guided to set your boundaries a little bit more specific, okay? You need to let these people know what you are and are not willing to deal with, and you need to be specific, okay? And this is what I get every single day. This is what happens for me, okay? Sometimes I don't know exactly where my boundaries lie, all right? So what I do is I wait until I find where my boundaries lie. And then as soon as I know, I'll let everybody know where they are. Okay. If there's somebody in my energy. Okay. And they're coming out here like, oh, well, I guess, I guess I'm just going to do this. Like, for example, someone said that they were going to do something and I, all right, <laughs> in the past, this person used to do this all the time. Okay. This person in my energy was like, Hey, I'm going to do this. And it would never happen. They would just, they were just throwing words out there is what it felt like to me. In the past, I never really did anything about it. I just let it happen and I let it happen and let it happen, giving them the benefit of the doubt all the time. Okay. And the person just kept taking advantage of that. Now this person is in my energy and they're saying, Hey, I'm going to do this. And I'll sit back and I'll wait and I'll see if they do it or not. I'll give them a little bit of a time period here. And if they don't do it, I'm like, okay, well, you said that you didn't do it. Okay. And that's just giving me more and more reason to pull my energy back because why would I keep being around someone that their words do not match their action, their actions, my words match my actions. I say that I'm going to do this. I go do it. I don't sit there and waste time and try to pretend like I'm actually doing something else or pretend like I have something else going on. No, that's what I do because that's how I am. I'm an Aries and I ain't got time for that. All right. And you as well, Aries, you just don't got time for people like that in your energy. Okay. You need to regress regress is the word of the day okay <laughs> and um put down in the comment sections if you have made it to this point in the video i am powerful i am wealthy i am intelligent those are my three affirmations that i try to do every single day you can use these as well they will help you aries all right love you guys hope you guys have a great rest of your day keep your head up keep moving forward like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment down in the comment section i read all of my comments okay Thank you for the new subscribers that I have received. Um, I think I'm up to like 160 is what I've seen this morning, if I'm not mistaken. Love that. So happy about that. Thank you, Lord. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And thank you, Spirit Guides, okay, and angels. Um, guys, again, read the description box. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading or if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do that. I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Totally up to you guys. All right, keep your head up. Keep moving forward. I'm going to see if I can make it to 50-52. Let's just see if I can keep coming up with something else to say for the next 22 seconds. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That was bad. All right. <laughs> I got to do something silly. All right. Love you guys. Keep moving forward. You might want to look up 5252 and see if it has anything to do or the angel numbers 555 or 222. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Love yourself first.